Hey YouTube, welcome back to a brand new video. Now jumping straight into things, there has been many glitches in Animal Crossing New Horizons since the launch. Most famously, the fourth tier exploit that allows you to jump out of bounds onto the highest level and at one point decorate it. There's even been the secret waterfall glitch that allowed players to make secret entrances behind waterfalls and jump through them. Ah, oh, those were the days. But as you probably expect, these glitches are a result of conflicting code, and whilst not dangerous to your save file or damaging to the in-game economy, they do get regularly patched. In fact, pretty much every new version or patch since the release of New Horizons, which is something like 28 updates now, saw some kind of bug or exploit that wasn't Nintendo's initial intention get fixed. Anyway, version 2.0.5, which as of the time of this video is the most recent update to New Horizons, there are still a handful of these glitches present in the game. One pretty significant issue surrounds the campsite, because part of this mechanic is completely broken and it gets even worse if you use Amiibo. We did briefly mention this in a fax video in the past, but it received a bunch of questions and many of you asked for a little more detail, so today we'll try and explain it a little better. Now, the campsite is of course a facility in Animal Crossing that when placed on your island allows villagers who don't live on your island to visit randomly. There's no real pattern to their visits, but there's a chance someone will visit after two days of no visitors, with the odds increasing as the days go by until someone eventually camps. This is a great way to meet villagers you've never seen before, a great way to move in new villagers, and thanks to Amiibo, a super fast way of forcing your favourite animals to become residents. Unfortunately, under certain conditions, the means of inviting villagers to move in from the campsite is broken, and not how the mechanic is expected to work at all. The first issue surrounds random villagers. Those are the ones that naturally spawn in the campsite and haven't been previously invited. Now, as you know, if you keep asking the villager, eventually you will likely get the chance to ask them to move in permanently and become a resident, which is awesome. In most cases, especially if you've already filled all 10 plots on your island, you'll likely have to ask a current resident to leave to make space, which is fine. But if you persuade the camper to replace a resident that happens to already be leaving, so for example the villager announced yesterday they were planning on moving out and you agreed, there's a chance you could temporarily send the camper into the void and instead a random villager replaces the resident that moved out. Now as I understand it, this only occurs if the camper is replacing a villager who's already moving out. This is likely because the game has already spawned their replacement in the background and know who is going to be. So by the time you persuade a camper to move in in their place, there's no room, so they're voided. Clearly this isn't intentional, and honestly, I'm surprised this hasn't been fixed yet. The good news is the villagers aren't technically voided, as you will eventually see them again. Every island has its own move in queue, and that's basically four predefined animals that are next in line to autofill plots. These are generally picked at random by the game, but are often animals who have left other islands that you visited as they they were moving out. Anyway, the camper you persuaded to move in, in the place of the villager that's already leaving, gets added to this move in queue instead, so technically you will eventually meet them one day. Now moving on, this whole broken campsite issue becomes even worse if you invite the camper to your campsite using amiibo, because if you invite a camper using amiibo, then persuade them to move in and replace a villager who's already officially leaving, and technically already has an also full replacement, the villager the villager of course joins the move in queue, except this time the amiibo card used to invite them is essentially blocked, meaning you can't re-invite the villager back to your campsite even though they're not in your town. So under these conditions you have a villager who's moved out, a random villager who's moved in in their place, a camper from an amiibo card that's been temporarily voided, and a blocked amiibo. Fortunately, like the random villagers, this isn't forever and you will eventually see them again. In both of these instances, whether it's a natural villager or an amiibo villager, they of course join the move in queue so will eventually move into your island automatically when someone randomly moves out. So the only real solution is to allow four villagers to move away, freeing up some plots and of course allows the move in queue to move in until the camper who was temporarily voided 
arrives. This of course unlocks the amiibo too, but you won't really be able to use it anyway unless the camper that became a resident then moves out. Now this whole thing is really only an issue for those moving in their dreamies from villager hunts through the campsite or when using amiibo cards, especially if you've already got 9 villagers you want to keep. But if you make sure you're not replacing a villager who's already said they're moving out, you should be fine. Anyway, depending on how or if you even use the campsite feature, this mechanic can be pretty annoying, especially if you're regularly moving villagers in and out and hunting dreamies and things like that. So it is a glitch and probably not how Nintendo intended the move in feature to work. So we'll probably see a patch one day. With that said, it's pretty rare players run into this situation, but I know some of you have so I do expect to see a new patch pretty soon. 2.0.5 release in February and there's a few other glitches that remain in the game to date so we're probably overdue one. So there we have it, hopefully that was a bit better explained unless you know how to avoid this situation when moving in villagers from the campsite. But what do you think about this campsite glitch? Have you accidentally voided a villager? And how often do you use amiibo cards? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Of course if you made it to the end of the video be sure to comment campsite just to let me know you did, that would be super awesome. And as always thank you so much to all the patrons and channel members for supporting this content and until next time have an amazing day. Stay Stay safe and I'll see you in the next one.